WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the 9 a.m. update. I'm Steve Rhodes. Currently, we've got the uh, Dow futures, equity futures up 75 points. It's trading out at 27,171. The ES Mini's up eight points. That's trading out at 3014. The Russell 2000 is uh, up a couple of points. 1565 is the print. And the NASDAQ 100 up 22 points, about a quarter of a percent trade out at 8,350. Let's begin our day. Our begin our day by taking a look at the support and resistance lines. I uh, used our TAS market profile for those equity futures contracts. We can see on the very left-hand panel, you're looking at the ES Mini. It's got resistance at 30.2350. Inside the NASDAQ, uh, it does not have any resistance, so to speak, meaning price is trading above both daily and weekly profiles out here. In the case of the Dow equity futures contract, this is the one that looks the worst. It's trading sideways, but it's trading right now at the bottom of its uh, daily profile. That is 27.175, uh, managing to close back below that, which suggests that it's getting ready to pull back into the 26840 level. We can see that yesterday's move higher in the Russell 2000 running right into resistance, the top of that box. That is at 1585.95. Now that's what these show us there. So you know where resistance is at. Now we didn't show resistance inside the NQ, but here's what we know about the NQ. The NQ is singing in the key of G. That is wave number seven, part of the Chapman wave count out there. That confirmed a couple of days ago. That can be a topping signal. There's also an a to B equals CD that it completed basically right to the T. What's missing here is a bearish reversal candle. We don't have it. So maybe what we have today is a choppy market. We don't really have a confirmed top, so to speak. Well, sort of. You could look wave number seven, letter number G, if it's not taken out, can often identify where the market begins to change its trend. So that is the NQ. If we take a look at the ES mini on a daily basis, this has already confirmed a top out here. It did that uh, back on July. Well, it confirmed it on July 16th when it formed that three river evening star pattern out here. Yesterday, slightly higher high. Didn't do anything other than extend that rose momentum indicator top end wave number seven, letter G out here. So price is not above any resistance in the ES Mini. So folks, do me a favor. Stay tuned for a beautiful hour brought to you by Larry Pesavento. Have a fantastic Friday, a fabulous weekend. And I'll look forward to seeing you Monday afternoon at 1 o'clock. Take care. <laughs>